So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Alyssa Zellini, as you may know, the president of the New Jersey Young Insurance Professional. Uh, thank you for all for participating in the 2021 NJIT Virtual Fun Run. We're glad you're, you were able to participate um, this year despite not being able to run usually on the boardwalk, but I hope everyone had a great walk or run and was able to post their pictures on Facebook um, on the event page. Today, we want to take some time to acknowledge our partnership with Special Olympics New Jersey, hear from an athlete, and share some awards for everyone's fundraising efforts. Over the last 35 years, NJ Yip and PIA NJ have raised more than $4 million for Special Olympics New Jersey, and we're grateful to continue to contribute to a special cause. Before we proceed today, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our sponsors. We've been conducting this event for more than 30 of those years, and without the generous support of these agencies and companies, we would not be able to continue. Mm -hmm. This year's presenting sponsor, Franklin Mutual Insurance Company, has generously sponsored the Fun Run since 2002. We have been lucky to partner with this company that has the vision and philanthropic spirit to recognize how important an organization like Special Olympics New Jersey is. Thank you again for your generous contribution. Right now, we'd like to welcome Lisa Glacius, this year's captain of Team FMI, and the NJS liaison for Special Olympics New Jersey to say a few words. Thank you, Alyssa. On behalf of FMI, I would like to say thank you to the PIA and the NJ Yip for once again hosting a virtual fun run during this time where we could not physically be together. I would also like to say thank you to you all that participated and supported the virtual fun run. And even though we could not physically be together, we certainly still showed support um, during this past year. So on behalf of FMI, Thank you for supporting the Special Olympics of New Jersey, and I cannot wait to see you all in person in 2022. All right, awesome. Thank you, Lisa. We're grateful for uh, our other generous sponsors this year. Our special, our social media sponsor is Farmers Insurance Company of Flemington. For our virtual certificates, we have both Gonzalez and Company Insurance Agency and the Samuel E. Mitchell Memorial Fund as sponsors. NJM generously sponsored 10 Special Olympics New Jersey athletes to run in the event. And lastly, Selective sponsored our extra items in the swag bag. Be sure to be on the lookout for those items to arrive in the mail soon if you ran in the event. This year, we have both the New Jersey and New York YIP teams running in support of the fun run. And while we might not be competing as usual with each other in the race, but we are both grateful to be a part of the event. Uh, joining us this afternoon, we have Ed Chadwick, fellow YIP president in New York. So, Ed, I will turn it over to you. Thank you, Alyssa, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Alyssa mentioned, I'm the president of the New York Young Insurance Professionals. Uh, we started participating in the Fun Run uh, back in 2006, and it has been our uh, absolute pleasure in helping our counterparts in New Jersey contribute to a, a great organization such as the uh, Special Olympics of New Jersey. During both 2020 and 2021, Special Olympics New Jersey saw an even greater need to not only provide sports opportunities, but equitable health for all of its athletes. The young insurance professionals were aware of this need, and we're grateful to be able to pivot virtually both last year and this year to hold our annual fun run. As athletes have been craving to be with their friends and competing again, we were glad to be able to be a small part of the movement to protect and provide for those especially affected by this year's struggles. To help serve as an example of our efforts each year after our fun run, we'd ha we have had the pleasure of the Special Olympics athlete joining us to share their story with us. While we unfortunately cannot meet with her in person today, I would like to invite Special Olympic New Jersey athlete Jenny to say a few words on screen. So Jenny, welcome and thank you for logging on with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Jenny Kalo. I am 39 years old. I started competing in Special Olympics my sophomore year of high school. A friend of mine introduced me to Special Olympics. My first sport was volleyball. I've competed in volleyball, swimming, alpine skiing, snowshoes, soccer, basketball, softball, bocce, track and field, tennis, and bowling. Special Olympics has taught me good sportsmanship, how to be a good example for others to advocate for myself and others to make healthier choices and drink more water and to exercise more. I have lost weight because of all the virtual classes. I have competed in New Hampshire, Florida, and New Jersey. Outside of Special Olympics, I enjoy being a mermaid, 
people doing crafts and reading. Things I have been doing during the pandemic are the Total Body Challenge, virtual races, and virtual games. I've done virtual events with the following Special Olympics groups. New Hampshire, New Jersey, Arizona, North America, Washington, Illinois, Florida, Kansas, and Missouri. I did the Stride Challenge and the Move Challenge with Special Olympics North America. The other virtual events I have done are with our with Special Olympics are the Total Body Challenge, cooking, gardening, fitness classes, Fit Five classes, virtual games, runs, cycling, and the One More Try Triathlon. I also do vir virtual princess events, cooking with Jake's House in Canada, and Camp Thorpe Summer Camp. I love participating in the fun run and many other runs in cycling. My favorite sport to do is swimming. I am looking forward to things getting back to normal. I am competing in swimming finals and the virtual games finals. The finals for swimming were on June 6th. I have also competed in sports outside of Special Olympics and they are sled hockey and wheelchair tennis. I have also done sit down cross country skiing, sit down water skiing and sit down rock climbing. Thank you for helping us athletes get back on the field safely. And thank you for allowing me to speak to you all today. I hope everyone has an amazing summer. Awesome, thank you, Jenny. You sound like a busy lady over there. <laughs> So thank you for sharing that about yourself and joining us today. And um, I also want to thank all the other runners, teams, and families that spent uh, time out of their busy schedules to join this effort. Um, for the next part of today's program, we wanted to present awards to those who achieved excellence for this year's fundraising categories. So we'll go into that. Our first award goes to the highest fundraising individual with the amount of $628. That winner is Adam Eng. So thank you, Adam. Our second award goes to the highest fundraising agency with the amount of $8,245. And that is Jim Core Agency. So thank you to Jim Core. It's amazing. Uh, our third award goes to the highest fundraising company with the amount of $30,464 and counting, which is Franklin Mutual Insurance. So thank you again to FMI. And lastly, for today, the fourth award goes to the most likes on Facebook. That winner is John Danka. This is John's 34th consecutive fun run, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> so thank you and congratulations to all of our winners. Um, you will receive your awards with your race packages arriving within the next few weeks. Um, with your contributions, we were able to raise close to $63,785 for Special Olympics New Jersey. Uh, do you think we can make it 64,000? <laughs> Possibly. Well, we can get there. Um, if you'd like to make any additional donations, go to njyipfunrun.org to keep earning incentives until the end of the day today. We can definitely push that out and get to 64 by the end of the day. Um, here today, we also have Laura Pantini, the event coordinator for Special Olympics of New Jersey to say a few words. So Laura, I'll let you uh, take it away. Thanks, Alyssa. I'd also like to thank everyone who participated in the event this year, whether it was running or donating or sponsoring or supporting. Our athletes truly appreciate all that you do. Uh, today is our annual law enforcement torch run and it has legs across the whole state of New Jersey. So that's where our CEO, Heather Anderson, is today. She would normally, you know, speak at this event, but she can't make it, so she's running around the state today. But thank you all for being here and participating. Back to you, Alyssa. I also wanted to mention that we've got some great events coming up soon, just for everyone to know. Um, for the NJF, our summer reception is on Friday, July 16th at the Mammoth Racetrack for some Twilight Racing. You can sign up and reg uh, register today. Our registration site is up. Uh, the PIA NJ Golf Classic to benefit Special Olympics New Jersey is also, um, will be open soon for registration. It's gonna be held on September 27th at the Maplewood Golf Country Club. So mark your calendars and save the date for that. Um, for today, that concludes our program. I just wanna you know, say thank you again so much for everybody for participating this year. And we hope to see you hopefully in person next year on the boardwalk and running together. But um, thank you again for everybody. Thank you, everybody. Have a great uh, afternoon and weekend. And again, thank you to all of our speakers. Um,
and we'll hope to see you again soon.